Hey guys, so I thought I should do my September favorites video today because we're already a week into October, so if I wait any longer, then I'm going to miss it. Um, sometimes that will happen. I'll be like having certain videos that I want to do, and then it will get so far into the next month that I don't even do a favorites video. But I love favorites videos. I enjoy watching other people's favorites videos, so I definitely want to do this. And I thought we would start off the video talking about one of my favorites that was always a favorite, but then I got away from it for a while, and now it's a favorite again, and that is incense. I did a video all about it yesterday, if you didn't see it, and uh, I thought we would start off the video taking the homemade incense burner that I made. Oh, look at the little turtle hanging on the side of the bowl. It's so it's even even cuter from facing the other direction. All right, so I need my lighter, and I'm going to do something um, a little different today. This was uh, the incense that I had gotten, one of the incenses that I had gotten in Connecticut, Aroma Valley Meditation. Haven't tried this yet, and um, it comes with this little incense burner square thing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my incense burner right on top of the sand or crushed stones. And then I'm going to light the cone. Oh, this smells so good. It smells like something from my childhood, but I can't quite place it. And on the back it just says, um, essential oils of sandalwood, basil, olibanum, and benzoin resinoid. Okay, I know what sandalwood and basil are, but I don't know about the olibanum and benzoin. It might be the benzoin that reminds me of something, because... I think that might be something that they put in medicine, so it might remind me of some medicine from when I was a kid. So I'm going to light this cone, and then place it on the incense burner that came with it on top of the sand. Um, in other words, I'm trying to use... use what I made plus I don't want to put the cone directly on top of the sand because um, I'm afraid that when it gets down to the bottom it will go out and I wanna you know use the whole thing have to light this several times because it's got so much oil in it ah there we go you can when it glows it's ready alright so we're gonna put that over here Oh, that's that's going to be very potent when you have to light it three or four times like that. So Aroma Valley Meditation smells wicked, wicked good. Okay, so incense is definitely a favorite. Um, another thing I'm going to show you that is not makeup, and then we will get on to makeup, is last year I had bought a boyfriend-type cardigan at Target. And it was black, and I really, really enjoyed having that. Target cardigans, especially their boyfriend cardigans, are super soft and very reasonably priced. They're $20, but sometimes you can get them, you know, on sale or marked down or whatever. But right now, when they first come out, they're 20 bucks. But they go so fast that they don't usually have that much left when they do go on sale. But anyways, I enjoyed that so much because I love layering pieces. I love wearing like a t-shirt and then putting a cardigan over it because, um, you know, my temperature fluctuates and so doesn't the temperature in whatever room I'm in or if I'm not even home, you know, sometimes when you go out. If you go shopping or go out to eat or whatever, the temperature is going to be different than what you keep your home. So anyways, I got a navy blue one yesterday. Now, the one that I got last year was Morona, which is the women's department. And then this is Massimo, which is a junior sizing. 
So I go up a size when I shop in the junior department. So like this is extra, extra large. Whereas if I was shopping in the regular women's section, I would just get an extra large. But yeah, these are super soft, $20, but they're, um, they're like a thin sweater. And I like those. I don't like sweaters that are too, too heavy. I don't know. I just don't like the way they feel on my body. But, you know, this is just a plain, just a plain boyfriend cardigan, it, you know, and it does have buttons on it. I noticed that a lot of those sweater type shawl things have been coming out that don't have buttons. And I like to have the option of buttoning it. I mean, maybe I don't want to button it, but if I do, I want there to be buttons there. And then, you know, it just has the, the pockets. I know that because of the color, you're not able to see it that well, but... My point is, if you've never tried any of the boyfriend cardigans at Target, check them out. Um, like I said, they're in the women's department with Morona, and the juniors department is uh, Massimo Supply Company. But I really, really like the one that I had gotten last year. So I wanted to get a navy blue one, too, because I'm finding that there are certain colors that I just gravitate towards, and black is one, navy blue is another, and sort of a red wine burgundy type color too, and those are the three colors that I most gravitate towards. So I picked that up yesterday. All right, let's get on to the makeup. My favorites have definitely been, and I, I wouldn't say the entire month of September, but from the time I purchased certain products until now, been using them nonstop. Uh, let's start with foundation. I used to use MAC Studio Fix Fluid Foundation many years ago, and I repurchased a bottle of it. And I love this, and I use it with MAC Studio Fix Powder. Did I say? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I just want to make sure I said said that right. Something about it didn't sound right. But the Studio Fix Fluid and the Studio Fix Powder together gives me the coverage that I want. Um, this is a powder foundation, so you should be able to use this on its own, but I, I don't like powder foundations really. But I find this to be actually a very light silky powder that goes nice with the foundation. And... Um, but yeah, they're not meant to be used together, but I like using them together. And it just gives me really good coverage, and they feel really nice on my skin. I have been having some issues with my skin breaking out there for a while, and I'm not sure which product I was using that was doing that, but I think it was either the Physician's Formula BB Cream or the LA Colors Foundation that I had gotten, um but one of those two was breaking my skin out. So I probably, if I want to switch back to those next summer, because they are, you know, lighter than this type of coverage would be, I'll have to use them one at a time for a week straight to figure out which one it was that was breaking me out. Anyway, um, okay, so that is that. And then I had gotten... Uh, a 100 point perk from Sephora of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I've been using this to contour my face with and I never would have thought that this color would be a good contour color because it's it's like a light brown and by the way this is medium slash dark this is not the light shade but this is very very light for a medium dark shade I think. Um, but anyways, this has been a great contour shade. It's just very natural. Blends like a dream. Smells like chocolate. Um, it's just, it's so smooth and just blends so nice. And like I said, this, this color actually works well for me. I wouldn't have thought that it would, but I've used this every day since I bought it and actually used another 100 points of my Sephora points to get another one. I figured... You know, it's if I'm using it every day and it's small and if, if I was like going away for the weekend or something, it'd be so easy to stick in a little makeup bag. So it's kind of nice having the small container of it. And another thing that I re... Well, I didn't repurchase that, but uh, the 
the Mac Studio Fix stuff I did. But this is a, another product that I repurchased that I had many years ago, and that is Benefit High Beam. This is like a pink pearlescent highlighter. And you would think that this wouldn't go with a lot of different makeup looks, but it actually does. And it goes nice with my skin tone because I have some pink in my skin anyway. So if you're somebody who is cool tone, you would probably love this as a highlighter because it's just going to blend in well and give you that glow, but not really alter the color. Like a lot of highlighters are either gold or peach or um, I've even seen highlighters that are like a tannish color, like a bronzy highlighter. And I think that you need to take into consideration what your skin tone is because like if you're somebody that has really warm toned skin then you would probably really rock a gold highlighter or if you have a lot of peach tones in your skin then a peachy highlighter would look good on you and if you have dark skin then I would go for the bronzy highlighters but if you have light cool toned skin you're gonna love this I'm telling you it is quite expensive but one bottle you could use this every day and it would go bad or it would expire before you could possibly use it up because there's actually quite a bit of product in this bottle it's um 13.0 milliliters or 0.45 US fluid ounces but anyways you when I use it, I brush off the excess back into the bottle. And then I just go dot, 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 you know, very small dots, and then blend it in with a brush. And you would think that it wouldn't blend in well on top of powder products, because I don't put this on until after I've powdered my foundation. But it blends in fine, and there's no issues with separation or not blending well, because I have had problems with that with cream and liquid highlighters in the past, but this doesn't do that. This blends in really nicely. A uh, new product that I got this past month that, holy grail for me, I, <laughs> I don't ever want to be without this. And again, it's expensive, but I think this will last me, This I think this bottle will last me a long time. It's 3.9 fluid ounces, and that is the Smashbox Primer Water. This makes my foundation go on so nice. I mean, I love this foundation anyway, but it it just makes it blend so much better. Um, this, this MAC foundation is very heavy, and I think this just makes it go on a little bit nicer, and it moisturizes your skin, and I don't know if it gives you um, any kind of luminosity or glow. I don't think it's supposed to, but I feel like maybe it does a little bit. Uh, it's hard to say, but yeah, Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. The first thing I do when I get ready now is I put on my EOS lip balm. Then I spray my whole face pretty liberally with this and down my neck a little bit. And um, then I start in with uh, one of my concealers and then my liquid foundation and then another concealer and then I powder and go on from there but yeah this is this is amazing if you're not sure they do sell this in a smaller size um, at Sephora not at Ulta though I, I haven't seen the smaller size at Ulta but at Sephora they've got this in a small size right at the registers in those little boxes that they have so you can get a smaller size to try if you're really not sure how you're going to feel about it. But I think the reason why this works so great for me is because I have dry skin. So just keep that in mind. All right, let's talk about a product that's not sold at Sephora or um, department stores or, you know, high end. Let's talk about something affordable that I love. That is the Ardell Pro Brow Pomade. This is so awesome. When I first bought it, I really wasn't sure if this was going to work for me because the color that it is on the surface is different than once you start digging in it with a brush and start using it. 
It seems to be multi-dimensional, but not in a shimmery way, in a color way. So when you put this on your brows, it's not going to go on exactly the same color as what you're seeing. Um, it's, it's incredible. I really love this. You know, I had thought about trying the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills brow pomade, and I was like, well, let me try this first because, you know, this is a lot cheaper. And I, I'm so surprised. I love the texture of this and it goes on so nice. It's so easy to work with. This is a great shade for me. This is blonde and it seems to go really well with my hair color. And um, yeah, I, I really like this and very affordable. Comes with a really nice brush and um, great stuff. Great, great stuff. All right. The other thing I'm going to talk about is something that, have you ever bought a product and you bought it and you liked it and then you put it aside and you just bought other things and didn't really use it that much? I have had this for, I don't know, um, two years? Uh, you guys probably would remember better than I would when this came out, but been using the crap out of this lately. My Urban Decay Naked 3 palette. I have, this is, I used this today for powder eyeshadows. This is all I have on. I have on um, one, two, three. I have three eyeshadows from this on today. I did use a MAC paint pot as a colored base though. I have on um, MAC Stormy Pink is what I started with for a base. That is a great um, thing to have. If you have the Urban Decay Naked 3 palette, that's a great paint pot to have because it goes so well with these colors because these are all like different versions of pink and plum and you know, except for the obvious ones right here and then maybe even the first one is is pink but it's such a light pink but anyways yeah if you have um, this palette Max Stormy Pink Paint Pot underneath any of these shades right here is gonna be such a good colored base for those so uh, you might want to take a look at that it's not a straight-up pink it's got like a purplish tone to it you know what let me just pause this and go get it so I can show you Okay, so yeah, I don't know why I didn't bring that out. So this is MAC Stormy Pink. And it almost looks more like a purple or a plum. But, um, yeah. Really, really beautiful color and great base for the Naked 3 palette. The only other thing I want to talk about today is once fall comes around, I think that we all start to gravitate towards different types of colors. Uh, it's fun to get involved in the seasonal things. I'm going to talk about nail polish. <laughs> um, when it's spring or summer, I gravitate towards lighter shades of nail polish. But as soon as fall comes around, actually a couple weeks before fall comes around, I go right for the reds and my favorite red polish is OPI I'm not really a waitress I have worn this I have worn this taken it off worn something else took that polish off put this on again took this off worn something else I keep going back and forth back and forth between this and lots of other polishes but I keep coming back to this it has this glow about it. It's it's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous red. I also do like China Glaze Ruby Pumps. Uh, that's my other one that I really like, but that has chunks of glitter in it, so it's a little more difficult to remove. So it's kind of, you know, kind of, it's more work, so, it, but that's really pretty too. But this is, this is so, so pretty and is very easy to remove because it doesn't have any chunks of glitter in it. But I mean, 
Look at that color. It almost looks even better on your nails than it does in the bottle. I get, every time I wear this, you know, people always say, oh, I love your polish. I mean, and it's been around for years. It's a classic. If you, um, if you don't have this, you kind of need it. <laughs> All right, so that's my September favorites, and I hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. Bye, you guys. Thanks for watching.